All right, everyone, welcome back to a uh, poser edition of Doki Doki Liter Literature Club. This is, uh, I think this is the seventh one I've done. So, yeah, uh, last time we learned a little bit about Sayori's depression and we learned that Monica might be a total bitch. So that's cool. Uh, but we were excited because Natsuki almost kissed us. And I feel like Natsuki is great. So hopefully she continues to be great. Um, a weird thing, there is no music right now. I don't know what's up with that, but there was a second ago, so I don't think it's like a glitch or anything. It's just strange that there's no music currently. But whatever, we're not going to worry about it too much. We're just going to go right into this. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Where are all the parents in these situations? Do all these kids live fucking alone except for Natsuki, who has a dad, apparently? Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking them. Or stacking two trays. Yes, I'm very good at carrying things. I am a man. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited to, for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. Did I pick a poem I was supposed to read at the festival? It's kind of shitty that I haven't, right? But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Cool. Poser, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that all she prepared that have all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like. I uh, and submitted it. Okay, so I did pick a poem. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember that what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ah ha ha. You should take a little responsibility for her, Poser. I should. I'm not her fucking mom. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Wait, how did you know about that? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. What? That? You stay the fuck out of my personal life, you bitch. But I stammer embarrassed. Did she already really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like a bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Oh, okay. Well, she does know weird things, and she, it seems like she told Sayori to, like, fucking do harmful stuff to herself. So, fuck you, Monica. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? No, not with you. Spoiled bitch. They came out really nice. Okay, yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. What the fuck? What? What am I looking at right now? Where is the cheerful music to make this all better? <laughs> this is terrible. So it's a percentage and then get out of my head, get out of my head. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. There's a lot of get out of my heads, get out of my head, get out of, get out of my head. And we continue. Get out of my head before I do what I know is, wait, get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It's just, it just stops moving. This is, um, I don't know if I like this. I really don't like this. 
Let's see what Monica has to say about it. What is this? Reading this poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Yeah, me too. Poser, what's wrong? Are you fucking kidding, Monica? You just published a poem that was really fucking fucked up, you fucking whore. Ah, oh, nothing. No, what? What? No, nothing? No! No, 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 there is something wrong! This poem feels completely different from everything. Yeah, oh, you fucking think? It sounds like a fucking confession. It sounds like, like a serial killer. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? But more than that. I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get S Sayori, so... Ah, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out that after me. I quicken my pace. Yeah, I should. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her to help her wake up. Even the simple gestures of walking to her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that the things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She's really, she really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. I mean, just waking her up. Who gives a fuck? Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? I guess. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. Wow, I'm just... That is not the way to get people up from bed, I feel like. I feel like maybe like, hey, wake up. I'm here to help you out with getting to school on time. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? I would say so, but she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say, what the fuck? What in the actual fuck am I looking at? Oh my Jesus. Fuck me. What the fuck is this? And the, well, the music's back. Thanks, music, for coming back. Oh my God. An exception has occurred. What in the actual fuck is happening? Okay, uh, well, I'm exclaiming things and the music's on, so that's cool. Oh, God, I don't want to stare at this anymore. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell indeed? Is it, it should better be a fucking nightmare. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Yeah, yeah no shit. Why, why are we having this thought not saying, I better get her fucking down from there? Oh my god, I just almost vomited myself. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was, that was fucking horrifying. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and everything will be okay. Then why, why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? I didn't do shit. She fucking killed herself. Turning down her confession, that has to uh, that has to have been what pushed her over the edge. You think? Oh my god, the music is terrifying right now. Her agonized screams still echo in my ears. Oh yeah, the one from yesterday. I was like, she's not screaming, dude. She's fucking dead, it looks like. Oh my god, I didn't mean it in the beginning of the game when I said I wish she was dead. We're gone! Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? <sighs> okay, compose. Composed. I am fucking composed. Oh, Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship... Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Yeah, we're not going to the fucking club, asshole. We're not going to the festival. We're calling a fucking ambulance. Someone I grew up with, she's gone forever now. Well, you haven't even tried to look to see if she's alive still. Nothing I can do, nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. What the fuck? Why would I say that? I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. 
and now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me, and now I can never take it back. Never. 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 Ne ne never. Okay, enough with the never. Okay, we're going to keep going with the nevers. What? That's not the end of the game. Wait, what the fuck? What in the fuck am I looking at? Okay. So Sayori's not here, but a copy of Monica is? And then this thing. So maybe not the end of the game? I thought this was just a fucking dating simulator. What the fuck is going on? All right. I obviously can't read that. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... My neighbor and good friend since we were children? You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of worked out because you've known each other for so long. I've fucking done this! I... I don't even know what to do! I, I've done all of this fucking before! But is she gonna chase after me like this? I almost feel better off running away. Is it Sayori? However, I just sighed and then she's coming up to me. What the fuck? It's Yuri? Like any other, mornings are usual. The worst being surrounded by couples and my... F okay, this is different. Alright, so that... Oh my god, that was just... I don't know how to fucking react to any of this. This is fucking awful. Natsuki, can we talk? <laughs> I'm scared. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, so... I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Okay. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. So I've done all this before. Clubs, there really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Poser. Oh my god. What? What the fuck? God, my fucking the hair on my fucking neck is standing up. That was fucking freaky. Monica. Okay, so this I think before when we did this, Sayori was the one who came up to us, but it's now Monica, so that's interesting. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. You're in front of me in a classroom where I was staring at the wall while everyone else was gone. It's been a while, right? Ah. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we're in the same class every year. Or last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So everything I've already said. Having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for our club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. Yes, we've been over all this before. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A litter... Oh my god, oh my god, my the hair on the back of my neck, that's so fucking creepy, Monica. What the fuck's wrong with you? Ugh. <sighs> Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, ahaha. Uh -huh. It's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us. Okay, there should be fucking four. It's really hard to find new members for something that doesn't sound so boring. I can see that, but it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of our members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? 
Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Poser. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse someone like Monica? <laughs> sure, I guess I could check it out. Oh, awesome! You're really sweet, Poser, you know that? It, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look, full, look for the materials another time. You're more important. Mm, how about no? Oh, well, it's not. Nope, I don't want to go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irre irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, and we've already been over all of this before. She, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. Go Girl 1, A. A guest. Seriously, you brought a boy? Girl 2, which Natsuki and Yuri, we already know that. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, poser. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. Girl with the sour attitude whose name's apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. She was cute. That's the girl I wanted. Now the first year. We've already been through all this. Vice President. It's nice to meet you. Fucking Sayori was the Vice President. Appears to be comparably more mature than timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Poser in her classroom and decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone here? Or anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just but I just happened to run into him. <laughs> in that case, I should at least make some tea, right? You've already done this! That would be great. Why don't you come sit down, poser? Those of you that yep, we know that. Yuri walks to the corner of the room, opens a closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It's hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. I fucking... I've read all this before. God, I'm getting frustrated because I've done this whole fucking cinematic once before for 40 fucking minutes. Ugh, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. I'm pretty sure I made a joke about that before. It makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well... I guess? Uh, Natsuki, we were dating, dog. We went on a lovely date, and I, like, did some fun things with you. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard. Worked really hard to find these, this, just these two. She's carrying places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down on a teacup in the middle. You can pull tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. Oh, well, does not help you enjoy the book? Ah, uh, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know, I believe you. While tea is reading might not be my pastime for me, but at least I enjoy... But at least enjoy tea. But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles. You're some relieved. So, Poser, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Mutter quietly to myself, half joking. That's what he says, only perks up. We've already done all this. <clears throat> okay. I'm not gonna read anything now, I think, unless it's like. It sounds new? Oh my god, this is fucking horrible. Chica. Okay, we've 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 heard this all before. Uh-huh. Yep. I just don't know what's going on. So horror books. Well, this is a fucking horror. Uh this 
voice message from you, it suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So we, we've heard all of this before. Her hating horror. Because she likes fucking manga. Oh, God. Why does it matter if she's cute or not? I still don't understand why that. <clears throat> I wanted to know your first poem. I feel like I... We've done all of this before, goddammit! I just saw Sayori hanging from the goddamn ceiling! What the fuck is happening?! There's no way this is a glitch in the game. This has got to be part of the fucking game, right? Oh my god. Okay, am I going to have to make a poem again? They're saying the exact same st thing still. I don't remember what happened last time, but it was a lot of stuff with Sayori, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're going to write poems. Yep, next time we meet, we'll share. That way everyone is even. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Yep. It looks like Yuri is really... This is all a little different, but basically the same. Do you agree, Poser? One problem. What's that? Now that everyone's reached. I never said I would join the club. Monica would have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision, which originally was fucking Sayori, who is hanging from a fucking... Maybe I should go to Sayori's house and see if she's still hanging there. Is that morbid? She glances... I guess I need to tell the truth, Poser. The thing is, I don't have enough members to yet form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members, and if I don't find one more for the festival... Okay. So I've joined. Everyone perks up. Am I going to go after Natsuki again? Do I have to do that? Maybe Natsuki was mad at Sayori? But Monica was the one who told... <sighs> I just don't know what to do. We're just gonna continue on. If you really just left us after all... All of what? We haven't done anything! Okay. Okay, because we're going to write... I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, can I really impress the class star Monica with mediocre writing skills? What's that I mean? Meanwhile, the girl looking down and chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. With that, I depart the club room. All right, so this is important. I need to go home. I need to, like, fucking lay in bed for a while and get my head right because this is fucked. This is all fucked. My mind wanders back and forth between three girls, Hatsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. I'd really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club. Perhaps we'll have a chance to grow closer to these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of the I'm sure good fortune will find me, and I guess this starts with writing a poem tonight. Yes, we've done all this. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh my god. I guess a dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they know how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Okay. So there's only two now. The music's normal. We're gonna go Natsuki again. I'm just... I don't know if I should even be doing this right now. This is fucked. Oh my 
God. So, what happens if I choose something that's none of them? Okay, that's her. Okay, family's her too. Hair is her. Okay, so everything that was Sayori on her positive side is now Natsuki, and everything that was on uh, her negative side seems to be Yuri, I bet. Because if I... What's Summer? See, Summer is her now, and that's not cute. So then let's look at Cage. Yeah. So... This is weird. I'm so fucking confused right now. I don't know what is happening. I don't even have to try that hard, because anything that's happy is probably not her. Oh my god. Alright, I wrote my poem. Let's see what the fuck happens. Hi again, glad to see you didn't run away from us. Haha, ha, not, uh, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word while I'm back in the literature club. Thanks for... Oh, did you fucking see that? Was that fucking right there right now? What the fuck is going on? My commitment to making it. You're not accustomed. Oh my god, oh my god! So this has all been said before. Now she's blocking the fucking thing. What the fuck is going on? Like, I can't see anything. It's all her. Okay. Natsuki pops back. I'm sorry, Poser. Shoot for Natsuki's just point glance. I went away. Uh, perhaps you might. Uh, uh, so that she got me the book, I think. You're not the vice president. Sayori fucking was. And you guys have for completely forgotten about her. And Monica is being fucking weird. Oh my god. This is just... The music just changed. Just went down half a step or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. I go into the closet? I think the music sounds normal, right? Oh my god, I just... Okay, you're looking for something in there? Fucking... Monica... Okay! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to mess it up? Slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes manga is one of those things you can't admit you're really into. Yep, we've gone through all of this before. Natsuki, we almost kissed after making fucking cupcakes. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay... Just, I am so concerned with what's going on. I just don't. I don't know. I, I just, I'm so confused. Parfait girls, yes, we've gone through this. I didn't say anything. It's one of your boys. Consider this a lesson. Don't judge a book. Don't judge a book. Okay, yeah, with your fucked up font there. In fact, that's. Exactly why she shoved the book right into my hands. Ah, uh, the cover features four girls. So this didn't happen day two, I don't think. I think it was day three that she shoved this book in my hand, right? Oh no, shit! It was day two. No, it was fucking day three. So we're ex it's exceedingly mo, and I still don't know what mo means. I do remember that because I remember not knowing what it means. 
Pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall behind me. She pats the ground next to me. Sit there. More comfortable. Take a seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time. And why is that? Uh, I guess it's easy to be close together like this. She realizes she's so close to us. And she makes she fold those tall inches away or something. <clears throat> okay, I open the book. It's only a few seconds. I can feel her peering over my shoulder. Hmm. Maybe sometime after I finish the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Okay. So, what happened to reading the poems? There's her cute expression. If you say so, I guess it's not. Not so I get excited. You don't. Mm, that's not. Really, no. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? She not rub it in. Jeez, yep, I remember this because she doesn't like her friends because they don't like manga or something or they just judge her for reading it or something. Okay. This is insane. I've done all of this before. At least she hasn't freaked out in a little while. Dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Did she say that before? What? She. I don't think she fucking said it this way. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Here I am reading it. Okay. I am just. Lovingly confused at this point. So I keep reading. What is going on? Time passes. I know, I glance over at her. Oh, this is new. She didn't fall asleep last time. What the fuck? Uh, okay, so Natsuki is now... Um, oh jeez, Natsuki, are you okay? Here, Monica reaches in her bag, pulls some kind of protein bar, throws it in Natsuki, Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again, it's a bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper, told you not to give, not to give, told you not to give, mm? she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth, don't worry poser, she's fine, it just happens every now and then, that's why I always have to keep a snack in my bag for her. What? No, did she fucking, like, blink? Her whole face turned to mush, Monica. What the fuck are you? Okay, we're gonna share poems, I guess. Natsuki? Okay. So this is what we did last time. I shared it with her first. Okay, we'll start with things I don't like. First of all, um... He reads my poem? Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Disappointed doing it far. I wrote this one, I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I re remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. He, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Oh, man. So this didn't happen last time. So yeah, so the way you write your poems apparently changes what the characters say to you. Which I'm pretty sure I theorized the first time I played this. Torts get caught in her throat. Uh, you're so, you're just, you don't understand anything, do you? So that you don't get that announcing in the world is self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say it mostly to myself. Not so you must really hate me or something. I can't figure out what to Poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Or fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, see, that's what you wrote in the first one. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Right, seriously, yep, we've already gone through all of this. It's just, well, she has a simple writing style. Oh, I'm just... But 
just feel like I'm not doing something right now. She's the youngest one here. We already knew that. Okay, Yuri. See, Yuri's weird. Okay, it's all the things we've already gone through with her. Okay. Sorry guys, if you wanted to read this, we've already gone all through all of this in my fucking first video, I think. No, second video, because we read the poem second. This is so fucking weird. Alright. Oh, I can skip. I don't know if I should skip. Should I skip? Let's see what happens when I read their poems. Ghost under the light. Yeah, see, we did read this. Present bed living in the past. The light flickens. I flick them back. Yeah. And I remember all of that. Okay, we're going to just get through this. Just to see if anything's different, because I don't know what skip means. Okay. Alright, Monica. Here, by the way, it's you and everything. If you ever says I do it, I'm only listening. Okay, I remember all this. sure that's what she said in the first one. Wait, what? Matsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. She's in a fuss mood pretty often, but sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. This did not come up in the last fucking time we did this. But hey, some guys are into petite girl too, you know? Look at the bright side. What the fuck is wrong with you, Monica? Read my poem now. Don't worry, I'm not very good. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Doesn't glance at my eye, but my burned eyes can no longer see. Close the room. I've been talking to her. Closing in on me. I remember this. This is the same poem. Let's see what her tip of the day is. It's very free form. Sorry, I'm not really a right person feedback. This town's gotten pretty popular. Poem is... Then she's gonna say someone. I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been in a to my poems a bit. An epiphany. I'm like that. I'm kinda nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, but it's been coming off strongly, maybe. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets fixated on a specific point. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think of this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just need a bottle of ink. I wouldn't go with the flow. That's my advice of the day, so that hasn't changed. I guess that's everyone's. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Okay. The music's getting weird again. That didn't sound right. Now it's back to normal. Smile sadly. What's with this language? Eh. Say something. Thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you? Oh, whoops. How can that be cute? We've went through this. Oh, 
Okay. The music stopped. The fucking music. That is, I don't, um, um, okay. I don't want to continue now. I just, oh my God, the music stopped. Okay. The music stopped. I know this is a weird place to stop, but I specifically remember the last time the music stopped, something fucking horrifying happened. So I think this is where we're going to stop for now. We're already at the 40 minute mark. I think I don't have a save though. I don't know if I should save now. What happened to my original save? Okay, we're going to save, and we're going to hope nothing bad happens to that save. I am very worried, guys. Uh, so this is uh, Poser, kind of freaked out over here at this game, not understanding what's going on. Uh, yeah, thanks for listening, everyone. Sorry if this is as confusing for you as it is for me. Um, so yeah. I really hope nothing bad happens on the next episode. So give a comment, a like, uh, if you want to. If you don't, I'm appreciating you listening to the video and watching the video, I mean. And yeah. So this is Poser signing out, horrified once again. Just completely terrified. I'll see you later. Bye.